Hi everyone, I have got my August Scentsy Whip Box. So I am excited to share this with you, so I hope that you stick around and join me. I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you took a few minutes of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I could ever let you know. To my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. I can't let tell you how much I appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today we are going to be doing my August Whiff Box from Scentsy. And if you don't know what a whip box is from Scentsy, it is a box that costs about $30. Um, I get mine in my Scentsy Club, so I get it every month. You don't have to get it every month. You can just get it whenever you want. If you do put it in your club, you can get it still, sign up to get it like every one, two, or three months. It costs $30. Um, it's not going to be like double the value, so you're not going to get like $60 worth of product, but you are probably going to get anywhere between $35 and $40 worth of product. It's just, it's just a really nice way to try some new items and just surprises. Everybody likes surprises, right? So anyway, you're probably wondering, what the heck is Nancy drinking tonight? So just a little basic drink. I've got my cup of coffee here because I love my coffee. And today I have my... Javalier, my caramel macchiato and I love this coffee so this is like a two-step thing where you get like these little pouches right here with some powdered sugar probably and some frothing stuff and then you get your little cake cup so then you put this on top of course I have to go a step extra you don't have to put sugar in it but of course I am going to put an extra thing a splendor in mine and then I had some Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. I put that in my frother and put it on top. And it was just like having marshmallow on top of it all. So I love it. Sometimes I put whipped cream and then some butterscotch topping. But I was trying to be good because I've got a transcend coming soon. And I need, to, I need to buckle down. So anyway, coffee. Love it. So anyway, back to my whip box. So anyway, um... A couple of months ago, I did, um, when I ordered this one for August, I had ordered a second whiff box. I did a little giveaway. I uh, did that random picker, YouTube picker. And Pam, over 50, Lifestyle and Beauty got the one. So I was, I felt bad that I couldn't get out of the house to get that box mailed out to her. But I finally got it out last week. Um, it's not showing that it's moving too much, but it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So... Fingers crossed, and I won't post this until I know that she's opened hers because I, I want her, her first box to be a surprise. So that's part of the reason that I waited as well. So anyway, let's get into this box, shall we? So boxes pretty much all look the same. This box is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier than last month's, but so you know there's something yummy in here or cleaning supplies. Well, cleaning supplies are still good. Supplies are still good because it's less money that you have to spend on other, other stuff, right? But the boxes are all heavy duty. You can reuse these whether you want to store um, your winter mittens or or maybe cards, little keepsakes, or extra wax bars. And this is what the inside of the box looks like this month. They all have the saying here, sent with love. Sometimes we get purple tissue paper, but the last couple of months we haven't. But you do get a lot of these little purpley things. So if you do use the box for regifting something, you always have some kind of filler. So during the warmer summer months, you do get your anything, your meltables, so your wax bars, you're going to get in these little mylar bags. Maybe that's not what you call it, but that's what I call it. And then there'll be an ice pack in here. And it just kind of helps keep the wax from being a melted mess. And these are totally reusable. You can stick them in your freezer. You can put them in your cooler if you go camping or a picnic or if you have a lunch bag that's insulated but you want to keep something extra cold you can put this in there you can if you're going grocery shopping and your grocery store is a little bit farther away from the house so you know you might have to make a stop put a couple in your grocery bags and uh, it'll help keep your frozen foods colder a little longer so this month it doesn't look like we got that little wax sample and i like those samples because then you get like a 
future whiff or pre-whiff or something like that of the next month's scent, but um, not this month, but we did get four bars, so I am excited about that. And, um, you know, I didn't read this thing. So anyway, let's go into this, shall we? So, you always get this little pamphlet, and this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the, uh, the new cover of the new fall-winter catalog. I'm not positive, but it, maybe it's just a few of the new items. Be a little bit of description on the back, and I'm farther away than usual because I'm trying to use a camera instead of my webcam to see how that works out. But it will tell you about um, sharing your opening using a hashtag. That's probably not the thing for hashtag. Um, perhaps Scentsy Whiff Box or Happy Whiffing. And it just says the new Fall Winter 2020 catalog is here with tons of new fragrances and products just waiting to be explored. In fact, your August Whiff Box includes some, some of the goodies when the new catalog has to offer, along with your own copy of the catalog to flip through. We just know you love what you see. And sometimes, I mean, I, it's fun to go online and see things, but sometimes having that paper catalog in front is just so much fun too. The inside usually has some kind of do-it-yourself project, something that uh, if you have young kids at home, it's a nice project for them to do, but not this month. So anyway, this month it looks like a couple of different charts. And it says, life runs on list, shopping list, to-do list, and wish list. Like what you want from the new Scentsy catalog to help you stay organized. Cut out these fun list starters and bookmarks and insert them into your planner, calendar, or catalog to flag important items. Uh, pro tip, leave your wish list where others can see it. It's, not, it's a not so subtle way of telling them what you want. So there's a place here to put, uh, if you have birthdays or anniversaries, events coming up that you might want to put someone's name and say, oh, they would love this scent. This is their favorite scent. That warmer would go great with their cabin type thing. Uh, don't forget, I'm grateful for it. And it's always nice just every day to kind of wake up and just take a look at your life. And this, there's got to be something that you're thankful or grateful for. And it just puts a smile on your face to just Remember how lucky we are sometimes. Uh, list for the home, gifts for others, for me, because sometimes some of the best gifts are to me, for me, from me. But this is if you put some things down here and maybe put them where others can see and buy your favorite things. Anything you want to stock up for, so maybe your favorite scents or any cleaning supplies. And yeah, so just a fun little list. And anyway, so we got four scents this month. So this first one is called Autumn Road Trip. Oh, and if you're not familiar with Scentsy, Scentsy, they have so, so many different warmers. There is a style warmer for any type of house, whether they've got like element warmers that don't have lights in it, just a heater, so some of them look like rocks. I've got one that looks like a planter, and it's got some little full succulents to put in it. Um, I've got one that looks like a coffee grinder. So, so cute. And then, of course, they have the ones with the lights in it, which are, they've got, you know, something that's like early American colonial looking. They've got modern. They've got so many different ones. This is a, some, a style that will fit everyone's house. And they have so many different wax bars that just so many fragrances. Whether you like the bakery or the food ones or you like citrus or you like floral or like a more manly sense, a woodsy sense, the holiday sense, just so many different ones. And they kind of rotate them. They kind of discontinue things. They bring them back. They put away the summer ones, come out with the fall and the winter ones. And it's just a really nice way to bring some fragrance in your, your home. Sometimes these fragrances, they just spark a memory for me. And I just, and you know, I, I love sharing my memories. And I just, anything that brings back a memory for me, is just, it's just such a welcome change. So anyway, um, they also have body lotions and cleaning supplies, pet supplies, so just so many different things. But I'm going to do this one first. This is the Aloe Vera and Ivy, and this is actually, act, was actually, the scent of the month for August. So had I been able to do this in a timely manner, if you like this one, this one would have been a little bit cheaper because it was the scent of the month. And there's going to be like eight wax bars in the back. And they're all kind of pre-perforated, for lack of a better word. So you just have to break this little bit right here. So even if um, 
we had them in this uh, Mila bag and with the ice bag and it was over 100 degrees and it took maybe three days from UPS to get it to you and then it sat on your porch all day in the high heat. If um, you, know, I felt that it's still going to keep this from being a sloppy, sloppy mess, but it might be a little bit too flexible to break or in the winter sometimes they kind of might get a little frozen. So if you can't break it just by bending this every which way you can, just to plop it out and cut it with a knife. Yeah, it works for me. So anyway, I had this uh, last month. It was in that little uh, tiny pot. So you had like a sample and I, and I can smell it from here. But last in that little pot, I just, I thought it was just really, really, really light, but I'm smelling it here and it's a little bit stronger than it was. So let me plop out this wax bar and it smells really, really nice. So of course it's going to be aloe vera, it's going to be climbing ivy, but this one is sweeter so it's like a melon, maybe a mush melon or honeydew melon or cantaloupe, just that kind of melon. And Raina, Felicity, were you? So you know that I was thinking about you. So anyway, you get those little eight, eight, them, eight little wax cubes, you just plop them in your warmer and you are good to go. So next we have another, I think these three are new scents. Uh, so this one is Almond Croissant. I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is a new scent for me. And as soon as I opened it, you could smell it. This is a definitely bakery, like a food scent. Food scent. So it, it is. It's like a freshly baked croissant, like that flaky, flaky pastry crust that's buttery. Maybe a little bit of sugar on top and cinnamon and sugar and almond. This is really, really nice. I think if you um, have this melting, you're going to have a hungry dinner crew. But very, very nice. Apple and oats. Oh, so this one is really, really nice too. It's another food scent. So this, uh, of course, it's like an oatmeal, like a cinnamon, 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 sugar, oatmeal maybe and caramelized apple. This one smells. Oh, that one's good. I love that. I love apple scents in the fall. And this is called Autumn Road Trip. It's a nice pretty orange. Ooh, and this one's different. So, to me, this is like it's a woodsy smell. So it's like I'm walking through the woods, maybe with some tall oak trees, some pine trees. And then I come into an apple orchid, and so I can smell the fresh apples, maybe there's some pears, some juicy pears, but it's definitely kind of like a, a mix here. I can smell maybe oak or fern, fern trees, fir trees, and apples and pears. This is going to be a nice one. I think this one would be, go good from going into fall and to the uh, Christmas season as well. So really nice on that. Alrighty, next we have one of these uh, little scent circles. And I forgot to read what name it was on it. Around the campfire, and I just melted this last week. I had this going with some toasted marshmallow. It was so, so good. So for these scent circles, uh, you can put them in your closet. You can put them in a locker. You can put them in like a, yeah, well, I already said closet. Um, like a linen closet maybe, or your car, or a gym bag, or a gym locker. Um, maybe not so much in a gym locker or a kid's locker with this one. But anyway, I love this scent. Let me see if I can. Let's see what it's like. So this one to me, it's an outdoorsy scent, definitely. But I feel like when I smell this, I've been hiking up a mountain and I've got my campsite ready and we got the tent set up and maybe we got a pot of coffee on and maybe we had some hot dogs already on the, cooked on the fire. And so you got that smell of the campfire and the fresh air. And maybe now I'm toasting some marshmallows, maybe to put in my coffee. But it's kind of like a sweet but a smoky scent and fresh air at the same time. Just really, really nice really nice outdoorsy scent. And we got two of these samples. Um, these are dish soaps. The lemon verbena. And there is enough in here to do a couple of loads of, I don't know, do you call them a sink full or a load full of dishes? 
But anyway, the lemon verbena, I've had this in like the uh, counter clean. Um, I, maybe I even had it in a bathroom cleaner. But I know I definitely had counter clean and I've had it in uh, the wax bars. So this is like a really, really fresh clean scent. So it's like lemon and lime and verbena. So it's just a really, really nice scent. So that'll be fun doing dishes with that. And, and I love my bath soak, my Scentsy soap. So anyway, I used to really love the Scentsy bath bombs. They were just really, really nice and fragrant and moisturizing. But the bath bombs were like $8. You get this two pound bag of, of salt here. And so this is going to, I think this is $12. So this is going to last a lot longer than an $8 bath bomb. And I love, love, love this. This is like Epsom salt and Himalayan salt. So it's just going to soak when you're sitting in your tub. It's just going to soak into your muscles and just help you relax, get some tension out of your body. If you've been doing some yard work or and you just, or maybe you're doing the uh, push-up challenge or something, and it's like your arms and your shoulders and your neck is killing you. Love this stuff for that. Um, it's got aloe vera in it, and it's got sunflower oil. So it's just really moisturizing. It's hydrating. It's really good for your skin. And the scents, I love the scents. And this one, Cozy Cardigan, this is one they brought back for the fall. And um, this, I think this is the first time that they've had this in, like, the uh, Bath & Body products. But Cozy Cardigan, it's really, really nice. I've had this before. I probably still have a couple in the kitchen. But um, it's like a, a soft suede and some soft blush roses. So it's like not a heavily rose scent. Like sometimes you can get a rose scent and it's just so artificial. But this is soft, soft, soft and mixed with a little bit of like a musky amber. So it's, it's a really, really soft, beautiful fragrance. I love the bars. I know I'm going to love this. Can't wait to try this. Um, after this, I may go and soak in the tub with this. Sorry, coffee, but I'm going to have to trade you in for a glass of wine. Because when I take a, a bath, I don't want to take a cup of coffee with me. Sorry. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I would go with wine. But also, in this month, because it's the uh, new fall winter launch, so we get the uh, new catalog. And it's just really nice to thumb through here. So it's going to give you... Um, the back of it's going to always it's fold out. It's going to show you all their products, little thumbnails, whether it's um, the warmers or uh, the bath products or the room products or cleaning products. The Scentsy Buddies are like toys for the children to hug when they go to sleep or sit in the car. And then you can put scent pads in them so that they smell like their favorite fragrance. Let me see if I can find. They've got beautiful diffuses if you're into diffusing oils and they also sell some essential oils as well they also and you've seen my flower but they came out with a different one so there's two different flowers and some more scents that they offer this year uh, some of the Scentsy Buddies I think I just went by it, but it will tell you what, um, give you an idea of what some of the uh, scents smell like. So it'll have the name next to it and their category and their fragrances. Oh, this one's kind of a lot of white, so this one probably won't show up. If I can find a page that's got some of the warmers in it. So it's just really nice to kind of thumb through, get some ideas, whether you like to give these as gifts or you just like to change them out yourselves. I like to change mine out. I, it's like, you know, I like to change them out seasonally, but sometimes I just want to change them around a little bit. I have some at work on my desk. I have some in the bedroom out here. I've got the ones that go into the wall and through the hallway, and I've got some in the kitchen and the dining room and the living room. I've got stuff downstairs that I haven't used lately because, well, you know, I don't go down there. But, oh yeah, and this is like, you know, some of the, uh, the country looking ones. So just so many different ones. I mean, there is something for everybody's taste in this. And, you know, the Swift Box is just a fun way to try some new scents. It's only $30. Just a fun way. And I think my glasses are falling off my nose. 
nobody told me either. So anyway, I just want to thank everyone for joining me. I appreciate your support, your loyalty more than you know. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope that everyone gives this video a thumbs up. I would love to read your comments. Let me know some of your favorite fall things that you love to do and favorite fall scents, maybe things that bring back memories for you. And we will chat again soon. I hope everyone goes out. Has a great week. Bye-bye, everyone.